Magandang buhay po at welcome po sa aking channel. Ngayon naman po ang aking pong ituturo is How to find experimental probability and theoretical probability. So magbibigay po ako ng illustrations and examples in a step-by-step -step process para madali po ninyong maintindihan yung lesson. Okay, so bago po tayo magbigay ng example, ay i-define muna natin the difference between experimental and theoretical probability. Ano po? Okay, so for experimental probability, it is found by repeating an experiment and observing the outcomes. So meaning to say, yung sa experimental, ay actual po natin gagawin yung activity or experiment. While in theoretical probability, it is what is expected to happen based on mathematics. So this is by computation. Ito po yung theory ng mathematics ang susundin po natin to get theoretical probability. Okay, so how to find the experimental probability of an event and how to find the theoretical probability of an event. So compare po natin para makita po natin yung pagkakaiba. So to find the experimental probability of an event, conduct an experiment and record the number of times the event occurs and the number of times the activity is performed. Divide the two numbers to obtain the experimental probability. So in symbol, uh, PE or probability of an event is equal to the number of times the event occurs over the total number of trials. Ano po? So mamaya, magbigay po tayo ng example niyan. While in theoretical probability, the theoretical probability of an event is the number of ways the event can occur. That is the favorable outcomes divided by the number of total outcomes. In symbol, probability of event is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. So, dyan po natin susundin yung theory ng mathematics. Okay, so sa ating pagpapatuloy, click lang po muna ang like and subscribe upang sa gaon ay ma-update ka pa sa iba pang video tutorial na aking i-upload sa mga susunod. Okay, so let's have an example on experimental probability and theoretical probability. So, number one, for experimental probability, a coin is tossed eight times. So, since it is experimental probability, so halimbawa, nag-conduct tayo ng tossing a coins eight times. And let's assume that the head comes out five times and a tail is three times. So how to get the probability of the tail and the head? So using this formula, the probability of an event is that for the probability of the head, since yung head ay lumabas five times out of eight trials or eight times trial, we can say that the probability of head is 5 over 8. Ano po? And also, the probability of a tail. So, yung tail comes out 3 times out of 8 trials. So, 3 over 8 is the probability of a tail. So, how about for the theoretical probability? Number one example, a coin is toast. So, kapag nag po tayo ng coin, dalawa lang po ang possible na lalabas. Ano po? It's either head or tail. Ano po? So, we can predict based on mathematics that one half or 50% of the toses will land head up. Ano po? So, for the probability of the head, that is one half. Ano po? Isa lang po kasi yung head out of two possible outcomes kaya one half. And also, for tail is one half. One tail out of two possible outcomes. Okay, so number two example po tayo for uh, experimental probability. A box contains six red marbles. 3 blue marbles and 1 yellow marbles. Find the experimental probability of getting a blue marble. So again, since it is experimental, mag a po tayo that the number of trials natin is 5. So ang ginawa po natin na trial, kumuha tayo ng marble, nirecord natin yung nakuha natin na color, and then binalik natin. So ginawa natin yon 5 times. At lumabas na yung blue marble is 4 uh, times. Ano po? So, to get the experimental probability of blue marble using this formula, the probability of blue is 4 comes out over the number of trials na 5. Kaya 4 over 5. Ano po? So, how about for theoretical probability? A box contains 6 red marbles, 3 blue marbles, and 1 yellow marbles. If you pick 1, 
marble out of the box, what is the probability that the marble would be red? So, again, since theoretical po ito, gagamitin po natin yung theory ng mathematics. So, to get the probability of red, the number of red marbles is equal to 6. Kailangan po natin makuha yon. And then, ito total natin lahat ng marbles na nasa box. So, 6 plus 3 plus 1 is equal to 10. So, there are 10 marbles in a box. Ano po? So, to get the probability of red marble, all you have to do is divide the number of red marbles. So, 6 over the total number of marbles, 10. Kaya, 6 over 10 or reduced to lowest term, that will become 3 over 5. Okay, so number 3 example, under experimental probability, you roll a die 20 times. The results are given in the table below. Find experimental probability of getting a 6. So let's assume na ginawa natin yung activity and this is the table. So face, there are uh, 6 faces in a die. Ano po? Numbered 1 to 6. Okay, so nung nagkandak tayo ng rolling a die, Lumabas yung number 1 is 3 times. Lumabas na yung number 2 is 2 times. Yung number 3 is, hindi siya lumabas. Number 4, 5 times. 7, 7 times. At 6, 3 times na lumabas. So, yung experiment natin dito, if you add yung trial natin, that is equal to 20. Ano po? So, 3 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 is equal to 20. So, the question asks, find the experimental probability of getting a 6. So, for the probability of getting a 6, ilan ba yung 6? Ilang beses lumabas yung 6? 3. Ano po? So, 3 over, ilan po yung trial natin? 20 times. So, 3 over 20. So, yun po yung experimental probability of getting 6. Ano po? How about theoretical probability? Find the theoretical probability of obtaining an odd number when you roll a die once. Okay. So, using the theory of mathematics, kapag nag-roll po tayo ng die, ang possible outcomes is, or are, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Ano po? So, yan po yung mga possible outcomes pag nag-roll po tayo ng 1 die. Ano po? Since ang hinahanap lang po ng problem is, add Number. So, ano ba yung mga add number sa ating possible outcomes? 1, 3, and 5. So, yun po yung mga number na hindi pwedeng i-divide ng 2. So, yung favorable outcomes natin dyan is equal to 3. So, tatlo po yung nabilogan natin. Tatlo po yung add number. Out of the possible outcomes, number of possible outcomes is 6. So, for the probability of add number, I-divide lang natin yung favorable outcomes na 3 over possible outcomes na 6. So, 3 over 6 or reduce to lowest term, 1 over 2. Okay, so to master the lesson, let's have an activity. In die, span the spinner several times and recorded the results in the table. So, yung color po natin is blue, green, red, black, yellow. And the frequency, ito po yung number of occurs. Ano po? Yung blue... Luwabas 3 times yung green, luwabas 7 times yung red, 4 times yung black 1 time, and yellow 5 times. So, this is the question. Find experimental probability that the spinner will land on yellow. So, yellow daw po ang ating kukunin. So, that is, yellow is equal to 5 times luwabas po yung yellow. Ano po? So, yung frequency po dyan, Yun po yung number of trials. Ano po? So, yung total frequency po dyan is 20. So, the probability of yellow or experimental probability of yellow using this formula is equal to 5 over 20 or reduced to lowest term, that is 1 fourth. Okay, so number 2 question. Find experimental probability that the spinner will land on blue. So, yung blue po natin dyan ay... 3 times no abas. So, blue is equal to 3. And again, the total frequency or the number of trials is 20. So, just substitute in the formula. The probability of blue is 3 over 20. Okay, so how about number 3 question? Based on the experiment, on which color will the spinner most likely land? So, anong big sabihin po ng most likely land? Yung pinakamarami pong lumabas na color. And the color is... 
greens because green lobas seven times. So the answer is green. Okay, so let's have another activity, letter B. Identify the following event, whether it is a theoretical or experimental probability. Number one, a die is rolled 10 times. Five appears six times. The probability is six over 10. So ano po ito? Experiment or theoretical? Since ginawa po yung activity because a die is rolled 10 times, this is experimental probability. Number two, Rolling a die once, 5 appears, and the probability is 1 over 6. So, what's this? Theoretical or experimental? So, this is theoretical. Ano po? Then, number 3. A spinner is divided into 8 equal parts, numbered 1 to 8. The probability of spinning a number less than 3 is 2 over 8. So, in this case, ano po ito? Theoretical or experimental. So, ang kinukuha pong probability dito is spinning a number less than 3. So, therefore, gagamit po tayo dyan ng theoretical probability. Okay, number 4. A coin is toast 10 times. A head is recorded 7 times. A tail is 3 times. The probability of head is 7 over 10 and the probability of tail is 3 over 10. So, what's this? Theoretical or experimental? So, since the word a coin is toast 10 times, this is experimental. Okay? Number 5. The spinner with 3 equal sections was spun 60 times. The experiment shows that the spinner landed on red 24 times, blue 15 times, and green 21 times. The probability of spinning red is 24 over 60. So, ano po ito? Experimental or theoretical? So, since ito po ay ginawa yung experiment o yung case that is experiment. Okay, so this is the reference in making this video lesson. Thanks for watching. Nawa po ay natuto po kayo sa simpleng video lesson ko. Don't forget to like and subscribe for more video lesson.